Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here. Thank you for joining me for today's video. Today's video I'm really excited to be partnering with Halara Clothing to show you their new range of pat it off clothing which is basically clothing for like pet owners or anyone that doesn't like any fluff on their clothing because if you get any fur or fluff or whatever on your clothing you can just pat it off and it just falls off which I need in my life because I am usually always covered in fur. I feel like on camera you can never really tell that I have fur all over me but if you see me in person I am usually covered in dog hair so anything to sort that out will be good. So this will be a try on haul, I'll go through all of the pieces and then I'll try them on and then at the end of the video I'm going to bring the dogs in, I'm going to get covered in fur and I'm going to show you how well it actually pats off so stay tuned to see the doggies at the end. I do also have a 20% off discount code for you which I'll pop on the screen now and I'll also leave everything that I talked about along with the discount code linked in the description box below so you can check it out for yourselves. But Halara is really lovely, kind of sporty loungewear clothing, great quality and very soft and breathable so like perfect for all of the seasons really so I'm very excited to share with you everything that I've got the first things that I've got to show you I'm actually wearing I have this little crop top on here which is like a sports bra crop top it has a proper insert for the bra and then it is this very soft smooth material I have to say I've not felt material like this before so I will be interested to see if it really is true and fur doesn't get attached to it. So the top of the crop top's like this and then underneath you have the full support bra and then the padding in it as well. And I've picked it up in colour red mahogany which I absolutely love this colour. It's one of my like favourite colours actually for the autumn winter. So that's kind of why I went for this crop because I'll definitely wear it a lot throughout the autumn winter. I'll probably wear it with like leggings like I am now or even with jeans because it definitely is long enough to wear as like a normal top. It's like a cami crop. And I have got this in size extra small just for reference I'm normally about size UK 8 but my chest size is quite small so I do tend to go for an extra small in tops in most companies just because I don't have much to um, fill it out although this has given me a little bit of cleavage which is nice and then to go with my little crop top I actually have their black pat it off leggings on when I put these leggings on I was just so excited because they're super high waisted they have a really thick waistband on them as well which is so comfortable and I feel like they're also very flattering as well, like on the bum, the shape of the seam and everything looks really flattering. And yeah, they're just very comfortable. They also have little side pockets on them, which I really like, because I feel like it just adds a little bit of shape on your hips as well when you wear them. And you can like put your phone in these as well, which is quite cool. So like if you are working out or something, your phone just slots in there and you can carry it with you. So I'd say they're kind of sort of cropped. I feel like you could pull them down and they would stretch, but they definitely feel like they are a little bit cropped, um, especially on me. I'm I'm five foot three so I'm not that tall um, but yeah they definitely don't go all the way down so I'd say they're more of a cropped style but they are extremely comfortable and yeah the high waisted design on them is so nice. So I got the leggings in shade black and I went for a size small in the leggings just because I'm a bit bigger on the bottom half and these are also the pet hair resistant material. Okay next up I have the other part of the set to this one which is the biker shorts. I just love this colour so much, it's absolutely gorgeous. So these are very similar to the leggings because they have that nice high-waisted thick waistband and they have like this little V-shaped drop in here. They are two-toned so you have a little bit of this lilac colour mixed in with the burgundy colour and they are cycling shorts but again the material feels so nice. I just feel like you need to feel the material for yourself to really appreciate it. It's so thick, not see-through. It's very soft and I think cycling shorts these days are not just something that people wear for like sporty things. I feel like people wear cycling shorts with oversized t-shirts or just around the house all the time. Like I definitely do, they're very comfortable. These are also in shade red mahogany and again I picked these up in a size small. Okay, next up I have another pair of shorts. I just went for some black shorts. Black shorts are what I would wear most of the time, especially when I'm wearing like a short dress or something. Normally I'll pop a pair of black biker shorts underneath those as well. And these again are just as nice as the leggings. They've got the V-shape up here, really high waisted also the shorts have the pockets in the side as well so you can put your phone in there and they just feel very nice I really like the length on the shorts as well like it's quite flattering you can obviously pull it down to have them a bit longer or you can pull it up a little bit if you want a little bit more of I don't know sexy 
bike short look, you can get that. Also, I've been wearing the leggings for most of the day now and just testing whether they roll down or anything like that because I know some high-waisted leggings like start rolling, but these ones stay up really nice, like they don't move, but they're also not too tight around your stomach. Because you've got that V-shaping around the stomach area, it gives you like a little bit more movement in there and my stomach's not completely flat, so I definitely want a little bit of movement there, especially if I'm gonna eat or something, I don't want it digging in. So yeah, that V-shape really helps with that. They also have a range, which I don't have any to show you, but I'm gonna show you a dress in a minute, which looks so cute, but they also have the, uh, mini skirts, which have like these biker shorts underneath. So you can buy a high-waisted skirt, but it already has the built-in shorts underneath like this, which that also looks really cool. So I'm gonna try those next time, I think. So these are the black biker shorts and these are in size small. And then last up, I have a dress to show you. I've saved the best till last, hopefully. This was the bit I was most excited about. Um, I am a little bit worried though that it's not going to fit me. I did open it up when it arrived and I thought, oh, I'm not quite sure if it's going to fit. But obviously in the trial clips, you will see whether it fits me or not. Um, I did pick it up in a size small. I'm wondering whether I should have gone for an extra small, but I wasn't quite sure because it has the built-in shorts underneath. I didn't want it to be too tight. But um, anyway, we'll see what it looks like anyway. You can get the gist of it. But the dress feels super thick quality. It's ribbed in design, so it feels slightly different to the other bits that I've showed you in the way that it is actually ribbed, but it looks beautiful. I have got it in this creamy shade which they call white asparagus. And this dress is described as the two-in-one flare activity dress. So I think it's definitely a good dress for like if you play tennis or golf or whatever and you just want a nice sporty dress to wear, but you do have the shorts underneath to obviously prevent you flashing. But I honestly cannot express the quality this dress feels. It's so thick. It has a built-in sports bra in it and then it has the padding and then it has these straps as well. They're like crossover straps on the back. It has this round scoop neckline very similar to the crop. And then underneath we have the built-in shorts which is a little bit hard to show you. Obviously I will definitely just show you more when I'm doing the try-on clips. Uh, they also have the pockets in them as well so again you can actually wear a dress and you can put stuff in your pockets and carry stuff around. I just really hope this one fits me. It does look like it might be slightly too big around my waist. It's better that it's a little bit too big than a little bit too small, but um, if not, I'll definitely pick up another one in my size because I feel like a dress like this is something that I'd wear all the time. Even though it looks like a lot of sportswear and like it's aimed towards people that do a lot of sports, I really do not do a lot of sports, but I still wear sporty clothes all the time because they're just very comfortable. So I think it's kind of clothing for everybody if you're into this sort of thing. But I think what we need to do now is bring the doggies up and I've put this outfit on, I've got the full black leggings on and this crop and I'm gonna like, I was gonna say rub myself all over the dogs which sounds really weird but <laughs> basically what I'm gonna do, give them loads of cuddles and then um, get covered in hair and then we'll see how well it actually pats off. Doggies! Hello doggies! This is Belle, she's a Border Collie. And then we have Dylan, come here Dylan. And this is Dylan, he is a little rescue dog which we've recently found out is called a Kokoni. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's apparently like a Greek house dog. But um, doggies, we need some cuddles because we're testing out some clothes here. Belle's the hairiest, although she's black, so I feel like it's not really gonna test it out that well. <laughs> Belle's like, why are you cuddling me so much? Can you get some hairs on me? Should we have some of them white ones? Should we have some white hairs? Yeah? I've got lots of white hairs on me now. Basically just plucking them off. <laughs> Sticking them on. You can do that on me, Belly, and get more hairs. Dylan, come in. Dylan. <laughs> Whenever I demand Dylan to come in and do something, he's always like, what? What are you going to do to me? Okay, I really hope you can see the hairs on my legs here now. These are like Belle's white hairs. So I'm going to pat them off and see if it works. Well, it actually does. And now... Okay, Belle. <laughs> Was that good? Are you happy with the results? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Belly. Is it good? Are you talking to the camera? Are you saying hello? Good girl. I actually now have no dog hairs on me. So actually it's a thumbs up. I'm definitely going to be living in these black leggings. Right, Belly. Usually Belle's like not keen to be on camera, but today she's, it's all about her. Is it all about you, puppy? 
<laughs> right I feel like this dog needs some attention so I'm going to end the video here I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this clothing definitely recommend if you have pets or even if you don't it's lovely quality comfortable clothing they have loads more on their website, but I'll leave everything that I talked about linked down below along with the discount code as well. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to Halara for working with me on today's video. I've really enjoyed trying out the clothing and it's definitely gonna be a staple in my wardrobe. Thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.